Hi, this is Gloria with stampwithgloria.com. Today I'm going to show you our number three background in the series of four that I'm doing for White Christmas. I'm going to combine a couple of techniques that I've already showed you so that you can get kind of a cool look. We're going to use the White Christmas set again and the card we're going to make is a real masculine looking card and here it is right here. So um, how do we get this effect? Well, let me show you. We are going to take our white cardstock, and I have already stamped the trees. Okay, now I kept looking and looking and looking. I I did this a couple of times, and I, you know, tried to make the reflection in the water, and it wasn't, it you know, it wasn't kosher. I just didn't understand what I was doing wrong, and I'm going to take uh, and show you. Okay, here's kind of, uh, you know, something I started with. And the thing that I'm doing wrong is this tree, okay, it's not in the water, it's on land, or I want it to be on land. So you know how you look at something for a while and you think, oh man, I need to get this right. So finally I figured it out, and so let me show you how to make it um, make more sense, at least more sense in my head. So we've got the polar bear and he's on land and there's a reflection in the water and this is a pond okay and so how do we do that you take a permanent marker and we're going to draw the line out we're going to draw the horizon line out okay it works perfectly okay so now we're there so but now this tree is going to be in the water if i take the horizon line and do blue below the trees so what i'm going to do is i am going to match up the trees and pull it over and now I have some land that the trees are sitting on. So this part below here is where I'm going to do the water. Okay. Now I do have the bear on there. Okay, but I I actually cut him out and put him on a dimensional, and we'll put him on later. I just didn't want to fuss with him too much. But um, once he's on, I need a reflection, right? So let's say the bear goes there. How do I get that reflection? Okay, so how we do that is remember the window sheets that we used the other day. We're gonna use the window sheets again and I'm gonna ink up the little bear guy with uh, go, uh, it's basic gray. It used to be going gray, but it's basic gray now. Now I want the image to be a little fuzzy because it's in the water, right? It's not gonna be perfectly clear. So I'm gonna take the same alcohol that I did before. I'm gonna spritz it or first we're gonna stamp it. <laughs> Let's stamp it on the window sheet. Okay, just like I did. Oops. How come the best laid plans? Okay, here we go. We dry him off a bit. Okay, taking the basic gray, we're gonna stamp our little guy. All right, he's stamped there. We wanna make him a little bit fuzzy, so I'm gonna spray him with alcohol off of the, um, camera just so that I don't wreck my picture and there he is so let's just line him up because that's where I'm going to put him eventually and we are going to put his little fuzzy image in the water kind of cool huh so we've got to do that to the trees too so what we're going to do is wipe this guy off and then we're going to ink up our trees just like this good very nice, very nice. We're gonna stamp them on this window sheet. Okay, we're gonna spritz them down too so that we get that fuzzy little look. And you wanna be, you know, fairly far away from them so that you can spritz them right. And then we are gonna lay it up just like it would, exactly where it should be in the water. So there's the land. There we go, and we've lined up those trees. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so we've got them all lined up. Now, I want this image here to be a little bit, um, a little bit uh, whiter in the water so that you can see his reflection better and the trees too. So how do you do that? What I've done is take a blender pen and then I've taken Versamark um, fluid, the reinker, put it in a little, a little paint cup and I've done this before and what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in the polar bear right here Boop. 
boop, 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 just the, the polar bear. Then I'm going to pull a streak down here with the tree because I want that to stay white and a streak down here and a streak down this tree here. Okay, so now we're all set with that. I'm going to um, take the clear embossing powder and we're going to tap that off, heat it up. Sorry about the noise, but we'll heat it up real quick. I think we're pretty close. A little bit right there. It's always hard to see when it's like white on white. You know, you want to make sure you get it. You got to kind of tilt it to the light. Make sure you've got everything good. Okay, I've got everything inked up here now. Cool. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some soft sky and I'm just gonna just uh, uh, pounce the color in here. We've done this on a lot of other different cards. So you just do your thing. I like to work in circles and to go straight across, so like circles and then go straight across the, the card stock so that you've got that going on there. So that looks kind of cool. Then I'm gonna just take some Marina Mist and I'm gonna hit, hit the edges of it to give it a little bit of depth. We want some depth in this um, picture here. So we'll hit the other edge here. There we go, woohoo, gotta love it. There we go, so we've done that. All right, those two things are done. Now the middle, I'm thinking, you know, it's later in the fall, so I am going to, take a dauber this time because it's tighter. I can get the color in where I want it to. And I'm gonna make the land a little bit warmer looking right here. Barren, warmer. And I did find out, my husband told me that there were no birch trees in Alaska. There is, so we're gonna use birch trees today. So he didn't know. So I wanted the color to bleed down a little bit into the water. Oops, let's get some right here just for that reflection, because it would be reflecting into the water as well. So then we're gonna go with um, Smoky Slate, and we're gonna do the same thing. Rub the color in. Always blending, blending, blending. There we go, Smoky Slate. Doesn't that look cool? I know, I love it. Then we're going to put in some Wisteria Wonder. I'm going to leave this edge of the card open so we can put in a sunshine. So you want to just make that look natural. You don't want to like stop specifically somewhere and make it look kind of weird. Okay. So then this Wisteria Wonder, I am going to tap a little bit darker on the corners just to pull that in, make the card all come together. There we go and blend it down on the bottom here. There we go. So I wanted a sun in here too. Oops, let's do a little more, make that a little more even. Circles will make your color a lot even. So always remember that circles are your friend. And then we're gonna put a sun in here and pull some color down. And then we'll put the sun on the bottom where it's supposed to be. Let me show you this picture. I messed up and put it on the other side, which you know a lot of us will do because that makes sense to us. But the sun, if it was flipped, would be on this edge of the card, not this edge of the card. And so then how do we finish this off? Real easy. What I'm gonna do is take a white marker and then we're gonna go through the tree and make it white if my marker works. There we go, I know it works, I just used it. There we go. I love these, I love these markers, but you gotta make sure that they're stored properly upside down in whatever you're using so that when you're ready to do whatever you're gonna do on your card, they're ready to go. Flow. So we're making this back into a birch tree again. We're gonna color out all the purple. There you go. Very nice, very nice, good. All right, then we'll do this guy here. Makes it pop a little more against the sun, so that's kind of cool. That white is showing through. Want to hit the branches that are a little bit thicker, so you got some more white peeping out. 
and then you've got these little sections on the birch tree there we go perfect now let's do this guy of course this probably take a little bit longer this card I wanted to be a lot more masculine um, type of card because it's always so hard for us to make cards for our guys but guys always like bears guys always want to go to Alaska if they're hunters it's where the big game is there we go so we're gonna go all the way down two and there we have our birch trees if you want to pull pull in some more white to make it more stark make it more like a birch tree by all means go right ahead do that okay so we've got our little um, pond here that needs some ripples so we're gonna take um, our white pen <laughs> that it's working I don't know if you can see it but it's working so we just want to pull that across the pond make it look like ripples of water kind of distinguish it from everything else there we go yeah just get it in there boop, 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 boop. there all right so now we've got our cute little background here we got our birch trees we're going to put the reflection there or put our bear in to match our reflection you can see how our birch trees are kind of in the water who knew right it's pretty cool then we're going to take some brown sugar and mount our card let's do that right away i know i use too much tape it's okay i like to use tape so I just put it on some brown sugar, kind of dulled it down just a bit for because it's for a man. So we want, you know, kind of neutral colors for him. I hope you liked this third background that I've done. And you can purchase everything to do this card on stampwithgloria.com. Um, please go to my website and see other cards that I've done. Have a great day. Bye.